available by default and not always to your advantage. Therefore, it's best to customize all of these settings before using the YouTube app. If they're enabled by default, and they will be if you haven't configured anything before, they're tracking not only your activity in other apps, but also your activity on YouTube itself. You may also receive a ton of ads, which can interfere with your viewing experience by tracking your location surreptitiously via GPS and then sending you ads based on that. So, there's a constant exchange of data between YouTube servers and your smartphone when you're connected to mobile internet or Wi-Fi. This, of course, drains your battery and sends all the data you search for on YouTube itself, meaning when you enter search queries. Basically, there are a lot of different settings that I would disable 100%. There are a lot of hidden buttons that few people know about. I'll tell you everything now. Be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. So, first, you need to find the YouTube app you use. Click on it. Then, when it launches, you'll see your avatar in the bottom right corner. Click on it. Next, look, under your account, there's this interactive line. It'll move left and right. You need to find your Google account. Click on it. Now you'll be redirected to an additional page. And here, when you scroll down, you'll see a setting called Data and Privacy. This is where all your YouTube history, search queries, default settings, YouTube app usage, and so on are stored. Go to this setting. Next, look, there are actually a lot of different settings here. I recommend reviewing these three settings first. The first one is App and Web History. As you can see, we accessed it through the YouTube app, but in reality, it tracks all search queries made through web pages, meaning through your browsers. Plus, it tracks queries made through other apps. I personally disable this setting. If it's enabled, just tap this setting, and you'll see an option to disable it. The same goes for Timeline. I personally disable it on every smartphone. So, even if your GPS isn't working, your location is still tracked in stealth mode, and then you're sent ads based on the location of, for example, nearby stores or important institutions. Basically, you don't get much benefit other than battery drain. I personally disable this tracking. So, take a look. There's also YouTube history. If you're short on memory on your smartphone, so you don't accumulate all this history, it's a good idea to disable it too. But if you have plenty of memory, like me, and you use the same search queries, for example, you like to watch YouTube only on a certain topic, so you don't have to search for a long time. Yes, all your search queries will be saved, so you can leave it enabled, but that's optional. Also, double check the information below to see if it's already accumulated. So, if you really want to clean out your YouTube history, you specifically need to delete all of these items. This is where information about your YouTube activity is stored. It also includes GPS tracking, which tracks the paths you've taken. And, of course, your specific YouTube history, which you've previously entered. So, if you've disabled your history and want to clear it, you'll need to delete the previously accumulated information here.